Hey, hey, good people. Arthur Moore is here. Hope all is well. In this video, we are going to look at simplifying a ratio of factor polynomials and the factors have exponents. All right, so let's kind of separate this out a little bit. You may want to pause the video and write it down, but I'm about to rewrite it and, and just kind of line some things up. So 42, I'm going to put the 42 over the 24 because I, those may be able to be simplified since they are regular numbers. I'm going to put the monomial of w to the third over the monomial of w to the fifth. I'm going to put the binomial of w plus 6 square over the binomial of w plus 6 to the fourth because those are like binomials. And then the 3w minus 2, it doesn't have anything like it, so I'm just going to put it in the numerator where it was. Alright, so the 42 and the 24, uh, we need to see what will go into those. So we have uh, 6. 6 will go in them. That's the greatest common factor that they have. We know that 2 will go into them, and you can keep going through that. But 6 is the greatest common factor that they have. So 24 divided by 6 is 4. 42 divided by 6 is 7. So I have 7 over 4 here. And then the monomials. We're going to use our quotient rule for exponents. Subtract 5 from that 3. So 3 minus 5 is negative 2. The binomials, the same thing, that w to the 6 is the same. They have exponents. We're going to use our quotient rule for exponents again and subtract the 4 from the 2. And then we have that 3w minus 2. Okay, so we've cleaned that up a whole lot. We've combined those, uh, we simplified the numbers, simplified the monomial of w to the third over w to the fifth, and simplified the binomial of w plus 6 over w to the fourth. Now we want to get rid of those negative exponents. We want to move the basis with the negative exponents to the opposite place of, from where they, of where they are, originally are, and to make the exponents positive. So my final step will be to move the w to the second negative second down to my denominator which will change the sign of the exponent and move the w plus 6 down to my denominator as well to change the sign of that exponent. And that is fully simplified. You cannot simplify anything else in there and you can leave it in the factor form per the directions. Alrighty, good people, we'll keep plugging away at some different type of problems, but this is uh, using rules we've already learned, uh, the quotient rule for exponents, and then simplifying regular numbers, so you just have to continue to practice. Hope you found this video to be helpful. Thank you.